Yo, what is good, YouTubes? It's your boy, Ray, and this is the Everyday City Carry, and we are gonna be talking about what is in here, bro. This video was brought to you by Asia The Amazing Outdoors. Located in Woodridge, New York, you can enjoy the amazing outdoors in the Catskills. There's camping, ATV rentals, ATV riding lessons, guided ATV tours, and much more. Give them a follow on Instagram and shoot them a DM for inquiry. Or you can email them at asianewyork at gmail.com. This video was brought to you by nafsale.com. This website is for knife lovers everywhere. Anyone in the world can buy or sell knives here on a truly customized platform made for people like us, man. When I listed knives, they asked what the blade steel was and you get choices right there. They ask you what the scales are made out of and you got choices right there. The point where I knew that this was made by a knife lover, when I had to select what brand the knife was and all the brands we know and love were on there. Secure payments and safe shipping. You get tracking for literally everything. When you get paid, when something was sold, when the money is on the way, you get insurance as well, dude. There's a rating system, and if you have a good track record, you're actually eligible for giveaways, which they will do in the future. And lastly, the customer service is done by real people. I know this because I have been working with nafsale.com daily, and they get back to me really quick. Forget eBay, forget all these other sites. Head on over to nafsale.com where EDC folks buy and sell their knives. Now, some of you are probably wondering what the heck is asymmetrical and why does this look like the Fantastic Four logo a little bit, right? That's not what it is though. Um, it is actually like an offshoot of Beyond EDC and I'm sure you guys, uh, maybe you guys have heard of them before. I think I checked out the Chunk before as well as the river wolf. You do get a wiping cloth on the inside of this. I don't know if there's any special, oh there is. There's that logo again right there. But what knife is it though? Bam, dude. You get your typical books and crap. This pouch is kind of interesting. There's like a slot. There's a slot for this thing here. Maybe the wiping cloth, you could put it in there too. Interesting. This is the Beyond EDC Contact. All right. Aesthetically, like, it's pretty, yo, it's hitting pretty good, bro. It's hitting pretty good. You got a worn cliff blade on that, right? You have a lot of milling on these titanium scales right here. You have jimping, bro. This is jimp city right here. You know what I'm saying? And it kind of matches on these three parts, the back end here, the top part right there, and that part right there. But I mean, you know, from an aesthetic standpoint, this is pretty lit. You have a blue anodized titanium clip for that pop of color. Let me know what you guys think because I'm thinking this looks pretty cool right here. These are what your thumb studs are looking like as well. Kind of just a nice, safe titanium frame lock design. Your ergonomics with my small fish paw hands, that is where my hand falls naturally, right there, right on that jimping, dude. And this jimping is nice and grippy. Check that out right there. Fire, bro. Fire, I can get a four finger fish paw grip on that. Here it is with the left hand. I'm feeling it. The clip doesn't mess with you because it is not sweeping up. This is a titanium clip, nice and flat like that. The action on this is also pretty nice, man. You have thumb studs for deployment. The reverse flick is money. Look at that. I mean, it's pretty drop shutty. I mean, look, you got a guillotine on that. Pretty nice action on this one as well. This is a Dirk Pinkerton design, by the way. Forgot to mention that earlier. You could see his maker's mark right there. Your blade is in S35EN, and it is a Warncliffe, my favorite blade shape. And I like the way that looks as well. I haven't cut a bunch of stuff with this one. It is not mine. This is just a review model but check out the grind on that right there. Your price on this is $182. You're gonna begin titanium scales, blue anodized clip, S35EN blade. Pretty good deal in my opinion, man. Pretty good. Uh, it's kind of, a, I guess, the standard price for titanium frame lock folders with S35EN. Your scales are titanium as I mentioned before. 
And the most dynamic part about it is this milling, which I mentioned earlier. This milling is pretty much the highlight on these scales, in my opinion. Um, but these are also pretty striking. This like extra jimping here. I mean, I guess this design jimping, but it is pretty grippy, bro. So when you go like that, you are getting some grippage right there. And then the actual jimping on the spine of the blade is stopping your thumb from going further. Now to weigh on this, you do know we high tech in it, boy. We high tech in it now. We have a scale and we're gonna check out what the weight is on this. 3.35 ounces. We're gonna check again just in case. 3.35 ounces, there you go. I'm gonna turn up the brightness on this a little bit. So you do have weight reduction on the inside right there. You can see that. And those are big lightning pockets, bro. Clip that I showed you earlier, blue anodized titanium. Let us check the ripped jeans, bro, to see how it performs in the pocket. You know what I'm saying? Bro, we just high tech in it now, yo. We we actually reviewing now, bro. You know what I'm saying? I'm not just pretending. <laughs> Yo, the tension is pretty good. That is how much real estate you're gonna be getting right there. That's pretty good. That's pretty good right there, dude. Clip money. This is a titanium frame lock. Uh, there isn't really like an access to it except for this little hole right here. So this might be difficult for people with uh, thicker, larger hands. I got the small fish paw hand, so for me, it's actually fine, but I wanted to highlight that and show you guys here. These are on bearings, and like I mentioned before, the action is pretty good on this, dude. You could flick this all day. Let me try my left hand, actually. I don't usually use my left, but money, bro. Can I do the reverse flick on that? A little bit tough because I'm applying pressure on that lock bar. I have to put my thumb here, I think, on the pocket clip. I can do it. Good action, man, good action. Now we're gonna do the size comparisons right now. You're looking at the contact right here, which is 7.37 inches. We got the big dog. This is the Tucson TS-165, 8.58 inches. And we got this Rat 2 right here, which is exactly seven inches overall. So in conclusion, what do I think of this knife, man? Uh, aside from the really long ass name, you know, Beyond EDC Asymmetrical Contact designed by Dirk Pinkerton. I think this is a pretty good knife that's just gonna fly under the radar. Uh, I think it's priced reasonably well, 182 bones, you get an S35EN, titanium, uh, blue anodized pocket clip. You're getting all the features that you want. You're getting huge lightning pockets on the inside. Nice action. Warncliff blade. You even have milling on the scales as well. You have all this like design jumping up here. Really good jumping up here. Everything just works really well on this knife. But I think this is just a knife that is going to fly under the radar. And it is a good knife. If you do want to pick this up, I do have a link in the description. It definitely helps the channel if you pick it up from there. This is your boy Ray, and this is the Everyday City Carry saying peace. Yo, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, and don't forget to hit that bell icon so we can squat up in the comments.